Boa tarde, pessoal. Sejam todos muito bem-vindos a mais uma session do Education USA, a sua fonte oficial de informações sobre ensino superior nos Estados Unidos. Eu me chamo Fernanda, sou orientadora do Education USA aqui na PUC-Rio e tenho o prazer de estar com Lisa Guadalupe, um, Manager International Student Recruitment for um, Hillsborough Community College, e também tenho o prazer de estar aqui com o Otávio, que é aluno do Hillsborough Community College, que vai falar com vocês sobre o, as vantagens e os benefícios de estudar nessa instituição. É, tenha uma ótima sessão, essa sessão está sendo gravada, e os, a, a gravação ficará na nossa página do YouTube, eu vou dar maiores detalhes no final da sessão. A Lisa, have a nice session, Otávio, the floor is yours. Right. Well, thank you for having me here in Otavio. Um, so today, yes, my name is Lisa Guadalupe. Um, I am the International Student Recruiter at Hillsborough Community College. And fun fact, I am a graduate, so I am an alumni. Um, today, we're going to ask ourselves the question, why study at a community college in Florida? Florida. So as you can see here, the only thing that you'll see is Florida. Um, I put no words on here because a words can be described as a thousand words or pictures can be a thousand words. Um, I will say I have called Florida my home for over 22 years now. Um, and I can say that I'm never bored in Florida. Um, from the sunsets to going to the beach, I love the beach, um, to going to Disney World or Universal Studios. Um, if I want some entertainment, I could go to a baseball game, or if I want some nightlife, I can go to Ybor City. Um, and if I wanted a little bit more entertainment and I wanted to drive, I can go to Orlando and watch the football team or soccer. Um, but Tampa Bay specifically, so we know that um, when it comes to our studies, we want to make sure that we have the good curriculum, but it also starts where the location is. Um, so specifically Hillsborough Community College, um, we are in Central Fo Florida. Um, in our backyard, we have the airport, which is 10 minutes away. Um, if we wanted to go to the beach, the closest one is 15 minutes away. And in front of our campus, we have the Buccaneer Stadium. It's home of Tom Brady. Um, so this is American uh, football. And then on our same property next to us, we have the Tampa Bay Yankees. So if you're very into um, sports, we have a bunch of sports teams and we have entertainment. It's not um, Disney World, but we do have Bush Gardens where you can get on roller coasters. And if there's nothing in Tampa for you, you could always, like I said, get on the airplane and maybe go to Miami. That's a 30 minute flight. <laughs> um, so why would someone choose a community college? Um, so first things first would be lower tuition. Um, so you get the same exact education that you would um, your first two years at a, at a four year institution and you could get it here at much lower the cost. Um, most colleges do not offer harsh admissions. So for example, we don't have any SAT requirements for admissions. Um, you'll have small class sizes. We do cap our classes at 25. Um, if you decide you want to transfer, uh, you could go ahead and do your first two years and then transfer for your last two years. And then we have the uh, OPT program, which is if you decide you want to work once you earn your degree. And I do want to mention over here, we do have a QR code. If you wanted more information on our institution, you can go ahead and fill that out. So as a student, how would you be supported at a community college? Um, specifically at Hillsborough, um, you will have your learning resource center. So maybe if you're not doing so well in a subject or you want to be better at a subject, we do offer free tutoring. Um, we also have laptop rentals in the library. Uh, if you're interested in 
you know, finding a career or working on your resume, or if you have an interview and need um, some clothing, you can go to the Career Resource Center and this is totally free and it's not just open for HEC students, it is open for the entire community. So if you don't decide to come here, you could still come to our Career Center for um, career advice. We also have the Counseling Center where not only if you're going undergoing something in your life personal um, this also works academically so maybe you didn't do so well one semester the counselors are there to assist you in that process we have our academic advisors that are going to have help you academically um, and fun fact i used to be uh, academic advisor here at hillsborough community college for four years so i know all too well the curriculum and what classes that are needed but Apart from that, um, as an international student, you will have, um, these would be your F1 um, specialist. So any immigration questions that you may have, you have an academic advisor and an immigration specialist all in one. And then last but not least, we have the Center for International Education, where that's where you'll find your admissions, your recruiters, you will find your academic advisors, anything international, you will find it here. So there is a center specifically for you. And now I have a special spotlight with our student, Otavio, who is on the call, and he's going to talk a little bit about why he chose a community college and his experience so far at HCC. Thank you, Lisa. No problem. Primeiramente, boa tarde a todos. Meu nome é Otavio. Estou uh, estudando aqui na HCC desde janeiro, então já fazem 10 meses. Uh, e como vocês podem ver na tela, eu participo em várias extracurriculares. Ali tem Model UN, que é Nações Unidas. A gente faz simulados das Nações Unidas e representamos nos países. E a gente vai para conferências em outras cidades, outros estados. E sou part, faço parte do Honors Program, que é o programa de honras. Então, se você é um estudante que tem um GPA acima de 3.5, você pode entrar no Honors Program e você vira um estudante de honras. Você pode ter aulas Honors, que são aulas com grupos menores e professores mais especializados. E é, são muitas oportunidades de eventos, de, de várias coisas que você pode participar se você fizer parte do Honors Program. Então, se vocês acabarem vindo para cá, eu definitivamente recomendo vocês tentarem entrar no programa de honras. E tem o Student Government Association, que é o nosso SPA. O SG é responsável, ele é responsável por criar eventos aqui na escola. Então, sendo um membro do SGA, você vai ajudar a criar eventos, a, a lidar com dinheiro, a criar projetos para a escola. É, é uma extracurricular muito forte, muito boa. Eu recomendo muito. E se vocês estão pensando em vir para a ITC como brasileiro, eu definitivamente recomendo. Tem vários brasileiros aqui em Tampa. Tampa é, é uma cidade cheia de latinos, então você vai se sentir em casa e talvez até vai aprender um pouco de espanhol. Thank you. All right, thank you so much for saying your piece. Um, so as a student, what does HCC offer? So I know Otavio said a little bit, um, but here we go. So at HCC, we offer over 160 associate's degrees. Um, specifically for international, we do have four certificate programs. In total, we have uh, 43,000 students um, ranging at our five campuses. Um, we have students representing over 80 countries. And if you're concerned about your safety, well, we made it on the top 10 safest metro areas in the United States, so I'm really proud to say that. Um, we do offer luxury apartments on campus, so if living somewhere is a concern and finding housing, you don't have to worry about that here. And then if you're into athletics, uh, we do offer five sports team, which is baseball, basketball, softball, tennis, um, and volleyball. 
So as I mentioned, uh, we do have five campuses. Um, we are one college. Um, you'll get the same information, your general courses at each of these campuses. Um, it just, every campus has their own specialization. Uh, for example, let's say Plant City, if you're wanting to major in uh, geomatics or in agriculture education, this is the school that you want to go to. So basically, um, the University of uh, Florida Florida, we have an agreement where you can do your bachelor's degree at the Plant City campus without ever having to move to UF. Um, so that's a, a highlight. Let's say if you want to do veterinary tech, this is the, the campus that you want to do that at. If you're into performing arts, um, you want to go to the Ebor campus. It's very artsy. That's one of my favorite campuses. Um, if you're interested uh, in biotechnology or in supply chain management, Brandon campus. If we are into um, EMT or paramedics or nursing, just like the Dale Mabry campus, we do offer that, but we also offer that over here. And then our main campus is the Dale Mabry. Well, you'll find me. This is actually where I went um, when I was an undergrad. Um, and you can get, um, get a cleaning there because we have our dental hygiene program. Um, I don't know if you ever got to see Otavio's background, but he's actually part of the library. We do have our art gallery. If you're into fine dining, we do have from our culinary program where you can have um, a four course meal. Um, if your computer is broken, you can go ahead and get it repaired. And then our health science program, which we actually got a building that is a replica of a hospital. So if you're into health sciences, um, radiation therapy, sonography, nursing, um, you name it, you can come to the Del Mabry campus and take advantage of that. So uh, these are the degrees that we do offer. So the AA, which is the associate's degree is our university transfer plan. Um, you do your first two years and then your last two years um, at a four year university. These are, are some of our top majors, but honestly, um, I like to think of it as a academic advisor standpoint. If you don't know what degree that you wanna choose, well, community college is the best option for you because you'll still be doing your general courses and have some time to decide what degree that you want to um, study. Now we have our Associates of Science degree. I think of this as you do your two years and after your two years, you go straight into the workforce for that specific degree that you studied for. So for example, I do my two years and once I finish, I'll become an RN, so a registered nurse, or I finish my two years and I can go straight into entrepreneurship. So these are for students who wanna go straight into the workforce. And then we have our college certificate, which I think it's a wonderful opportunity. Maybe you don't wanna spend your two to four years at a college. You could do one to two years. Um, and these are the uh, certificate programs that we offer. So uh, university transfer plan, I mentioned that as an AA degree, you have that option. Um, so basically what it is, is when you do your general courses your first two years at HCC and earn that AA degree, you can transfer to any of Florida's 12 public universities with our articulation agreement. Um, this doesn't mean that you can't go anywhere else because you can go to other colleges outside of the state. You would just need help of your academic advisor. Um, which they'll assist you in mapping out your educational plan, which I'll show you in a later slide. Your educational plan basically maps out what classes you'll be taking each semester so that there is no confusion. Um, another advantage of our articul articulation agreement is, is that we have a conditional letter of admittance um, with the University of South Florida. Um, so if USF is a place that you want to go on your application, you can say, um, you can click the box saying that you would like the conditional letter of um, acceptance. 
And basically what you can do is I always tell students, maybe try this option because what you can do is you can show um, when you go to the consulate or when you go to the embassy, you can show you've been admitted into Hillsborough Community College, but you'll also have that letter uh, from USF saying, hey, this is a conditional letter of admittance. Now, let's see if this video will work. Okay, so this is the educational plan. Um, this is our Hawk GPS, just kind of like GPS when you drive your car. Well, this is kind of like the same thing. Um, so if you see, this is my, let's say, for example, this is me, this is my first semester, and I don't want to study um, from nine to two. Let's say I have a job during those hours. So I have a class from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m and it'll show me the next few semesters of the classes that I'll be taking, okay? So I'm just gonna fast forward. This is me just showing you, I don't wanna take this family and early childhood education course. I wanna change it to something else. You have the option to do so or to remove it from your schedule. Um, and that's me just blocking off my schedule again because I don't wanna take classes. And as you can see, this is pretty much your two year plan. So if mom or dad are on the call, oops, they can go ahead and see um, what are the classes that you're taking. Or you can set, show them this is my plan. So there's no confusion. And now for the Honors Institute, um, I know Tavio mentioned a little bit because he's part of the program. Um, so if you're a student looking for scholarship opportunities, if you're a student looking for a little bit more of an experience with your professor, um, if you wanna do some study abroad, even though you'll be studying abroad at HEC, coming to HEC, um, the Honors Program is for you. Um, I think the best part of this is that you get that private school feel, but at the community college price. And I say that because I mentioned earlier, you will be, um, if you're a student at HCC, you have 25 students in a classroom. But if you're in the honors program, you have 15 students in the classroom for one professor. Um, so I think that's really a good advantage um, being part of the honors program. Now, as an honor student, these are some of our graduates and where they've attended school after completing the program. Um, so as you can see, there are a few Florida colleges, but majority have gone to some prestigious universities. We have Boston University, Columbia, Cornell, Stetson, uh, University of Florida. Um, so if this is you, that you want to go to a top-notch school, then the honors program is definitely for you. So how do I get into the honors program? I could read bullet by bullet, but the most important one out of all this is the last one. So you want to make sure that you receive your, a 3.6 GPA or higher your first semester at HCC. Um, and then once you do that, you can go ahead and apply to the program. If you have any questions or if you wanna know a little bit about you know, the culture of the Honors Institute, you can go ahead and check their Instagram profile and you could see what they're up to. So the OPT program, opt optional practical training. Um, basically, it's kind of once you finish your AA degree, you could go straight to work for one year uh, within the field that you're studying. I feel like this is a great opportunity because employers want to see students or employers want to see um, their employees have a little bit of experience in the field. So this is a wonderful opportunity. Let's say if you went straight to the university, you would have to wait those four years and then you finish and then start working. Well, at least you can do your two, two years work, go back to school, and then after, do, after that, go to work again. And if you decide to do your master's degree, you have three options to do, three times to do OPT training. Hawks Landing. So as I mentioned before, if you want to live on campus and get that university feel, we definitely have that option here for you. These are the price plans um, in order to be a Hawks uh, Landing resident. I always recommend this option over here, the four bedroom, 
Why? Because you have the opportunity to meet um, domestic and other international students and like look at that cost. And then on top of that, these are the amenities. So you'd have your own private bedroom and your own bathroom. Wi-Fi is included. All of your appliances uh, are included as well. You have a gym if you want to get fit. Um, you can go ahead and run some laps on that pool, or be, hang out at the grill. And then on top of that, you'll always have your HCC um, security or uh, your safety patrol. And then we have surveillance for that extra added comfort. So what does it take in order to come to HEC? So at HEC, this is what you would need for your I-20. Um, again, this is just what we want to see. This is two semesters. Things can change. You might. It just all depends on your lifestyle. It could be a little bit more. It could be a little bit less. But this is how much we want to see um, in a bank statement. Or if you have a sponsor, this is the amount. So how do I become an HEC student? Well, the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and apply. Um, this, if you go on to our link over here, it'll show you the application. It'll say apply now. Um, typically, our application is $50, but since we are with Education USA on this call, you could go ahead and put in um, on the application Education USA Brazil, um, and we'll go ahead and waive that for you. And then all we would need is just the high school transcript, um, evidence of English language proficiency, um, which basically means if you've taken like the TOEFL or Duolingo, it's pretty popular. We just want to see those test results, copy of your passport, and then the proof of financial support. And then you just want to take a screenshot of this just to look at the deadlines. But if you have any more questions, feel free to um, email me or you can go ahead and give me a call. Um, and that is all for today. That's very nice. I have a few questions. Yes. We just had a fair, a student fair recently. And um, do you encourage um, students, older students to apply to Hillsborough Community College, like an adult that would like to to start a second undergraduate degree? as an international? Yes, um, I recommend students who are, I get a lot of students who come in wanting to look for a little bit more of a professional degree. So maybe not just doing like an associate's degree, maybe um, I've seen students who wanna improve on their business. So we have business degree or entrepreneurship. So I definitely believe students who wanna get a little bit more professional development, um, yes, this would be a wonderful option for you to come to HEC. And you wouldn't be the only one because we do have a lot of um, students in that same scenario. Mm -hmm. And um, the um, the honors program. Yes. You, you mentioned, uh, is there any opportunity for scholarship? There is an opportunity for scholarship, right? Yes, there's opportunity for scholarship. So basically what would happen is, again, you would need to be accepted into the program and then you could go ahead and apply um, for the scholarships when the window opens. Yes, and uh, what's the maximum? That's, uh... As of right now, I don't have the maximum, but if you can go ahead and um, scan the QR code, um, I could provide more information of what the maximum are of the scholarship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, are there any other, too many questions, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> uh, are there scholarship opportunities for uh, students involved in sports or in other student associations? Yes, so uh, HCC in general, uh, we do have a scholarship um foundation um, you would have it's open every spring um, but the thing about that is sometimes the deadlines um, they conflict so that is one option and if you are a student athlete we do offer a student scholarship but that is um, on basis so not every student gets it it just all depends on your grades and such and yes. such yes mm -hmm. and um, I have a question for Otavio Okay. <laughs> yeah. What are you? What made you choose HCC? 
in the student's perspective, what differentiates uh, what differentiates HCC from other uh, community colleges? Oh wait, where did Otavio? I think we lost Otavio. We lost Otavio. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry <Bye>. about that. <laughs> That's okay. Vinícius, você tem alguma pergunta? Mesmo que você não possa fazer, você gostaria de escrever no, no, no chat? Not yet. Ok. But I'll just ask Vinícius if he had an, another okay. question. That's fine. That's fine. Now, let me see. Ok. I don't have any further questions in the way. Uh, anybody else would like to ask anything? Oh, actually, it's just coming. Just another advisor. Okay, perfect. Okay, hi Atula, nice to see you. Okay, I don't have any more questions. I don't know if you can <laughs> share anything else with us. Um, can you find useful? I will say, um, I was a student at Hillsborough Community College, um, and I feel like I got the best out of my education. One, because I think my best professors came out of HCC. Um, I can always remember my math. I'm not very good in math, okay? I studied uh, sociology. So math, you know, it was a little bit of a struggle, but I, I will always remember um, I had to take college algebra and I ended up not doing so well. It was ADM class, which, you know, there are some early birds, but at the time I was not an early bird. I ended up failing the course. Um, and then I took the class again with the same professor at the same time. I was like, you know what? I already know the professor. And again, I, I think it was like the first exam and, and I failed it again. And my professor, he wrote on my test. He said, I don't want to see you in this class again. Come to my office hours. And till this day, I will never forget about it because he gave me the option of going to his office and helping me study and you know how to take the test and things to look forward to and I ended up getting a B in the course I didn't get an A because I still struggle at math but he gave me that option of this is a community and then they're there for you and the same thing for a writing professor that I had not maybe I'm just not the best student but um, sometimes you struggle when yeah. it comes to writing and I will say that um, having the tutoring center helped me with that and also you know having the professor in the office hours and it's not like you go to university where you have like 200 plus students you have 25 students so yeah. it was okay. easily accessible but yes I definitely recommend that that feeling of community in college. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, I have a question from uh, Vinicius regarding SAT to enroll. It is not required, but I saw it mentioned in one of the slides in the honors program, I think. Would it be uh, to another level, take the exam after getting into the HCC? So basically um, this, the SAT, yes. If you would need, want to get into the honors program, you can do that. You can take the SAT. Um, personally, that's not really recommended. Um, well, not I won't say that, not recommended. But honestly, you could just do your first semester at HEC and not have to take the SAT. But if you want to start off in the honors program, then you could go ahead and do so. That's nice. That's nice. OK. Uh, and um, we will see you soon at the um, All right. <laughs> yeah, at the, the WHA forum. That's okay. Right. Yeah. All right. Thank and you so much for having me. No, thank you. Thank you.
that's really interesting. There are a lot of students uh, recently talking about nursing, so it's good to know a little bit more about Hillsborough. So, yes, so if, yes, it. Florida is the best place if you want to become something in the healthcare, specifically nurses. There is a boom, um, and I feel like when you study at the community college. You, I mean, there are nursing programs all over the country in different colleges, but once you get, you're a nurse, you know, you're an RN, so you can start working with that and then build on if you'd like to. So, yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Pessoal, essa sessão vai estar gra gra tá sendo gravada e vocês podem acessar essa gravação no nosso canal do YouTube, Education USA Brasil no YouTube. Muito obrigada e continuem participando dos nossos eventos, estão todos na nossa agenda e também nas nossas redes sociais. Thank you very much, Lisa. Say hello to Otávio for me. Okay, will do. <laughs> All right. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.